Hi, hi all. Uh, um, today I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to be playing the uh, old Elvis um, tune, "A Mess of Blues." This is a really, really good, good tune to play, and uh, I encourage anybody to to have a go at this because it's, it's it's quite a straightforward tune. Um, I do love these old Elvis tunes because they've, they've got some good melodies. Some of them have, and uh, you know, if you pick out, pick and choose the right ones, they they can sound really good. Um, but this is in C, this one, and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play through it. I'm going to play through it first, and then after that, I'm going to do a, two, a tutorial on it, to show you how to do it. The backing track, by the way, is from uh, the Amritz Company again. They do some really, really, really good professional backing tracks, and very, very good prices as well. I mean, encourage anybody to, if they want to um, learn a tune, to go to Amritz. And try and find the uh, see if they've got a backing track for the tune you want to play because as I say it's well well worth it and they are a very very good uh, professional backing track. I'll, I'll use them as often as I can. So right, let's get on to the music then. few little stumbles along the way there but uh, I think you'll forgive them well, to show you how to play this what I've done I've slowed the backing track down quite slow um, so that I can sort of do the notes slowly you can see where I'm going the it, it starts on the D string at the fifth fret which is a G note and then it goes from there goes like this We'll do that. We'll, I'll put the music on and we'll try that. I'll try that again for you. You come in once the once the drum starts. You get these two uh, piano bars first. It comes now. Thank you. 
so that was the that's the first bit and th that is the main tune um, basically there those two bits are the main tune and then when it comes up to this bit So that's on that. That starts on the uh, fourth string, fifth fret again, which is a G note, and it slides up. That's all on that fourth string. Then your third string from C on the fifth fret. And then the chord at the end, a G chord. So I'll just do that with the music. comes now it goes, it goes again then Now that's that uh, the whole thing played through right up to the middle part which is going to go which I'm going to do now which you start on the you slide up from the seventh fret you got you got the um, the B the B note on the sixth string which is at the seventh fret and then you got the C sharp note which is at the ninth fret but what you're doing is you're sliding them up up to the 8th and the 10th then, then I'm bending bending the D at the 10th fret and then bending again the A note at the 10th fret so from the top that's down to that um, E note there on the third string so once again I'll play that with the music And again then you slide it all up to the tenth and twelfth right so what that's that's that middle part done there the first time through and now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the first, um, the main body of the tune up here on the starting on the G note. All on that one string. 
then up to the sixth string same again on the starting on the eighth fret back again to the second the uh, the second string at the eighth fret So all you're doing is just replicating the first bit you 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 learn up here, down to this this next um, octave down here. You're just playing exactly the same things, so exactly the same notes, just in a different position. So I always try and encourage people to learn the tune in more than one place, so that you can you can swap about round the neck, it makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'll, I'll try and play that with the music. Right, so the next part is going to be this, the middle part. The middle part again is slightly different this time. We're going to put we're going to put some tremolo bar into into it this time. So it's once again it's. Try and bend the notes as much as you can. That's down onto the G, the G chord there. So we'll do that with the music. So we come on to the last bit now where you're going to go back to this, this bit up here It's exactly the same as you played before, no different at all. But what we'll do, we'll play it with the music. Oh, come on. No, I can't play it with the music. The music's gone off. But anyway, this is this would be the last bit. For, this would be the last bit, right leading up to the end. And then the final bit ending. We'll repeat that a couple of times. Once more the last time. And then right at the end I'm playing uh, B flat, B, C. That's um, you could say the the F shape, G shape, A shape, whatever shape you like. It's the same shape, but you play it on the 
6th fret, 7th fret and 8th fret to finish. Put a bit of tremolo bar in here if you want to. And that's basically the tune. Um, I should, you know, have a go at it. It's a bit of fun to play. It's a good old Elvis, Elvis style. Everybody knows the mess of blues. And um, the object to the object of this exercise is, is to obviously is to play it better than I do. And uh, I wish you luck with that. Thanks very much for watching.